Hello, podlings, and welcome to Jupadre. This week's episode is a perfect example why we started recording our conversations, because without a roadmap, they kind of go to a really specific spot on complete accident. But this week's episode, we fall into a topic and get ready. It's a little bit spooky. It's the blue mask I've been wearing at work lately. That's that's the biggest reason I'm going to say. Is, you think it's making a difference? It's just making mine go like a... <laughs> Well, I would say it's making a difference, or wouldn't say it's making a difference, but you said something, so it has to be doing something. It just, it looks good right now. Oh, thank you. So it looks really dark and full, and I'm just like, it looks good. Thank you. Welcome you to Jupadre, everybody. This is season three, episode four. It's Were nice to have you. Time? Uh, not the whole time. Just uh, when I started explaining that it was the the blue mask, I, I started there. Oh man, fine. We're gonna catch me giving a compliment instead of yeah. a deuce. I love but, it. Well, now that we're on the podcast, welcome. I'm Albatross One Seven, and this is. I am Blaine. I am Juhadre. Yes. So. Thank you for joining us today. Now, Blaine, you said that you have some extra time and money for something. Now that we're on the podcast, it came up. Fill the damn thing! I walked into that on purpose. I knew it was I know. something. I, I know. Bring it up. Say it. Fill it. So, I don't remember if I told the story on the podcast before about uh, my previous housing situation. Story with Blaine and three ends. Yes. <laughs> so uh, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, I don't remember exactly when this happened. You did not tell this story. I did not tell this no, story. No, no, you didn't. Not, okay. on the pod- not on the podcast. We not know, podcast. but our listeners, Moose, probably wants to know, DMAC. DMAC? Yeah. <laughs> so I had moved into an apartment for a period of a month and a half to two months. Um, I was basically subletting from um, the other guy until their contract was up, and then we were going to sign a new contract. No, 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 I... no, no, no. Let's, let's clarify. When you said subletting, so the guy that you were paying your rent to was supposed to pay the big portion of rent to the guy who he actually, you guys actually owed. Yes. So, so long story short, before I even had had moved in, he wasn't paying – all, if any, of the rent <gasps> to the complex. And this, is, so, this has been going on for a couple months, right? He, he, yeah, for a, a six, seven months up to a year, based mm-hmm. on how much they said we owed. So I get a call Monday morning at work, and they told my roommate said, "Hey, we're being evicted." We, you need to have your stuff out by three o'clock, or you might not be able to get it. Now I remember and I'm that just day. like, I just moved in a month and a half ago. What's going on? Yeah, and you had paid your rent. And I had paid my rent to where I promised to pay it. Yeah, because you're not a bum. <laughs> Turns out, <laughs> um, the guy hadn't been paying the rent, like I had said. He had also. Uh, been served our papers uh, that we were being sued and didn't tell any of us and um, basically hosed us all, including a previous roommate that I had never met that I was taking his place. So okay. we got hosed. Hold on. you And then... Keep going. I hear someone in my house. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, uh, to, to make this shorter, we hired a lawyer, all four, four of us, against the fifth guy saying, hey, Hold it's on, his fault, minute. not our fault. You, 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 you were taking the place of somebody, so somebody moved out, they would yeah. pay their rent, so you weren't, like, back out on rent, right? No. no he okay. had paid his rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again, it's still the, 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 the main guy you guys are paying to who was supposed to be then paying rent. That's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So th- those of us who had been paying the one guy rent hired a lawyer. 
yep. and basically said it was his fault. We paid our rent. We did what we promised. We shouldn't be um, sued. We shouldn't have been sued. Yep. And so basically we got taken off the lawsuit about six months ago. Yep. So it was like we had never been sued. Yep. But we still could be. They could come back and sue us. Well, my big exciting news is that today I got a text from my lawyer saying, hey, by the way, since you never signed a contract, just two of us never signed a contract, the they are willing to dismiss us and have no repercussions. That's Thank great. You. So I no, basically they're willing to, or they are. Because that's <laughs> two totally I just different have, things. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to say, I accept these terms, and they'll drop the paperwork. Mm. What, do, what are the terms? Do you even know the terms? I need to read the rest of the email. I well, just barely figured that out. Congratulations! Yeah. So, so awesome, awesome. I am super excited right now. So Very what are good. you gonna go buy? I haven't decided. Well, you got me all worked up. Yeah, well, I did buy. I did buy a Jamba Juice on my way home from work. Out of boy. I'll take it. Fine. That's well, right now. Okay. Okay. So you saw me walk in with it. For those of you who's are who are on YouTube, I bought you and Moose something because Moose has been wanting one because he's trying to watch his figure. Hmm. I bought you. <gasps> and 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 here's the funny thing. Read it. Mm. The brand's thinner. It should help moose. Should. Sure. I'll probably <laughs> never use it. I bought it for the both of you. Okay. Okay. So thank you, anyway, Alvin. You're Ross. welcome. I bought you guys a scale by the brand Thinner. Just because I can. Okay. So now that that's out of the way, thank you for getting me all riled up on something that was. Not as exciting as I thought it was going to be because you're <laughs> not going to get trauma juice. Okay, so there is no one in my house, by the way. I just was hearing things. Are you? You know what's weird is I actually tried peeking around the corner of the screen to, to see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, because I could see the green on your screen, which means it's picking up sound. And I was like, "Is he being murdered up there?" Like I was like, "What am I going to see? Like the puddle of blood come down?" And be like, "Oh my gosh." Here's the evidence to the cops. Well, there's nowhere for red to come down because this is all flat. You have, you've got enough blood. I do have. I, I right. don't know. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Right away. Okay. Please so, go, go ahead. This week I've been talking to Juhadre about a few things and it sucks because I'm just like, I should just stop. Okay. Because <laughs> it kills me. <laughs> I ran into the Mexican version of me yesterday and I don't mean that racistly. So my wife, we went swimming yesterday because our pool opened up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to go sit in the hot tub. I've got a bad back. Sitting in the hot tub. Well, my wife's over there um, letting our son play with another couple's kid as well. They're about six months apart. And she is talking to him. So they come over to the hot tub over by where I'm at. And this guy, so his name is Sebastian, starts talking to me. He starts telling me how he's also a musician. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Whatever, dude. But then he starts telling me about the stuff he likes to play and that he's also in a podcast. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm in a, like, I play music and I'm in a podcast too. But so he's got a podcast he does. It's just a, it's just a controversial conversation with somebody where he gets, where it's him and they talk about both sides of something. Hmm. You know, he agrees about this side, this side, and they respect it. I was like, oh, that's cool. He invited me on. And I was like, I don't know. Um, Let me think about it. But I was like, cool. We hit it off. My wife, we left. She goes, oh. She goes, you want what, what, what that is? I'm like, somebody in the ward we can talk to? <laughs> and, and she goes, no, that was the brown version of you. And I'm like, honey, that's racist. She goes, and? and I'm, like, so, I'm so proud of you. But I messaged him what she said. He laughs. He goes, that's funny. My wife said, look, there's a white version of you. All right. And I'm just like, I'm just like this, is, this is going way too perfect. And I, I, it's never happened before. Okay, So it was just funny. I just ran it. I thought it was funny. But then the other day I was going on a walk mm -hmm. and uh, it's about a three mile walk. What I do just go up the giant, the big walk that my suburbs on. And I'm walking past this couple that's sitting in the grass and this guy looks familiar. So I look out and I, I point out like, oh, did you live at 
such and such. And he go, he looks at me like, who the hell is this guy? No, I didn't live there. That's the look on his face. But it, in the, it was a split second. And immediately I'm like, no, tell a performance. Because we worked tell a performance together. And you could see the clock, cl- just the cog turn. It just was like, oh, like mm-hmm. what's your name? What's your name? And so I told him my name and just we hit it off. The funny thing about that is my wife gets super pissed. I can't go anywhere without running into somebody I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did it at the that a Dan Remember concert. Ran into four yeah. people I knew. Uh, did it did it at a mom and pop's sh- uh, candy shop in the middle of Cedar City. Ran into this bitch that went, I went to college with, and I say that because she was she was a beast, but she was not fun to be around. Mm-hmm. But she was like, oh, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's always awkward when something like that happens when <laughs> they recognize it and they're like, oh, it's so exciting to see you, and the response is. It's not exciting to see you, but you can't say that out loud. <laughs> no, I was just like, hey, she go. Okay, here's the funny part. She didn't remember my name. Mm-hmm. So, because she goes, hey, so and so. And I was like, that's not my name. And it was actually my roommate's name because she actually mm-hmm. had a, had the hawks from my roommates. I was like, no. She goes, I was like, that's not my name. And she, she, that's the error. I was like, no, my name is James. Oh, you did the thing. Uh, I did. I you did, did the thing. thing. My wife chuckled because she, she understood it. She just, <laughs> and just walked away but yeah i remember her name i remember her she was not the pleasant person and we didn't we didn't have any classes together we lived in student housing together she was in the building next to me so like when i was doing dishes i could see her apartment mm-hmm. it was that was the apartment oh man nobody liked her she was and this is gonna sound bad she was a mall mo- very very molly mormon mm-hmm. bad it was bad it was bad so mm. yeah that is what happened to me during my week last week. I kept running into people that just, I was like, it, the funny thing is, and I always talk to you about it, Juhadre, about how I just, I don't have time to add anybody to my life. Mm-mm. I don't. That feels bad for the people who are actually part, but you say you can't add them even though they're already there. No, you guys are, you guys have plenty of time for me. That wasn't Except what I was meaning. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, okay. okay. If you if you yeah. know someone, they're a part of your life, and you can't add. That means you can't make new friends. But old people you knew, used to know, that's not. Oh, adding no, no, no. that's di- that's different. Because the guy that I ran into, I was like, we're, we're going to get lunch soon. Mm. Yeah, but because uh, I ran into him, I I can't go anywhere without meeting somebody. But no, the one person that I'm just like I I try to make time for, but then doesn't show up. Y'all know who he is. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah, that guy. I want to kick in the nuts right now. <laughs> Because okay, Bleen, may I share may I share your story? Sure. Okay. So you're in quarantine right now. Okay? Yeah. Last Saturday, Moose, I talked to you because he said Friday night, yeah, I'll come over tomorrow. Saturday. I was like, cool, my wife's not gonna be here. She's gonna go help out her uh for her brother's wedding. And he goes, Cool, I'll come hang out. I called him that day, he goes, oh, I'm just waking up, yeah, let me get ready, I'll come on over. Three hours later. Dude, where are you? Oh, dude, I'm not coming over, I'm in quarantine. You're recording? He goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm not going to come over. But he didn't say it like, oh, dude, no, I'm now in quarantine. It was like, dude, no, I can't come over. I'm in quarantine. Like, of course I won't come over. I'm like, then why did you say you're going to come over? You Nimrod. I remember when you told me that. I laughed a little harder the first time I heard that, and it just, this, it still surprises me. This kid, the way he thinks, I love this kid, but don't tell me you're going to come over. If you can't come over because you're in quarantine. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, when he told me, that, I was like, whoa, Blaine's got it? No, Blaine's co-worker. Again, Blaine's co-worker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always the co-worker. Yes. Okay. So another thing, and this is, okay, this is going to be funny, funny Moose story. Moose just got a package in the mail. Yes, he did. And it wasn't the package he wanted. So for those who are curious no. what this package was, he yeah. ordered a desk from China. And Blaine, what did they send him? Masks. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sent him masks. He paid like $150 for this desk, this really nice gaming desk. And he gave me the tracking number and everything. I checked it. He double-checked the paperwork. Juhadre. He got masks in the mail instead of a desk. He was so pissed. Like, Is he going to be able to get money back and stuff? Is it all fixable? I asked him, dude, what are you going to do to get this back? And he goes, well, I call, I, I messaged the place. It's really hard to get a hold of them because they're in China. I'm like, 
that's racist. That's racist, Moose. <laughs> we have we have instant messenger and emailing and phone calls now, Moose. But he just he goes, well, I left them an email. And they said that they would send it to me. They'll reship it, and I'm like, so you're gonna get three more masks? Nice. <laughs> he goes, I hope not, but. I told him, I was like, dude, you should have just asked for your money back right then and there. That's what I would have done. Taking a picture of the size of the package that had that tracking number on it. I'd be like, no, a desk is not going to fit in this 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 package. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has the worst luck. I'm, oh, yeah, that poor guy. Yes. So, how was your guys' weeks? Uh, fine. I got some really good news, even though I've been in quarantine. What's that? I already told you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, got already. Normally, people would say, "Well, there was that one thing I told you about, and that was awesome." Not, I got good news. That that means another story. It's okay, Blaine. I knew what you were talking about. But hey, do any of you guys know what a smart desk is? Uh, it's the one. Is is it the one that raises with you? It's a sit stand desk that does it yeah. electronic. Yeah, sit stand desk. I was looking up, trying to look it up, because uh, I've been getting a bunch of links of, of that autonomous company, and yeah. it was like, "Hey, get your smart desk." I'm like, a "Smart desk? Like, I know what a smartphone is. I know what like a smart TV is. So, does it have apps?" <laughs> no, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. It just goes up and down electronically. I was very bummed. I was so bummed. I would have been too. Then, mm-hmm. so like the. It's just that you don't need to press a button, right? It it senses you and whether you're standing or sitting, right? That's the, what makes it smart. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, I mean that 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 would be smart um, if it had some kind of like detection like that. But it had the buttons on the side so you could adjust the level. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know if it's got that. It, it depends on the model. Like the really expensive ones, it'll sense whether you you have a chair there or not, and adjust accordingly but just to be smart it just means it has an electronic motor mm-hmm. um, oh, does it detect if there's a chair there is there like a camera straight at your crotch <laughs> <laughs> oh we don't detect anything between your legs desk is going up i oh, imagine I that it looks so for a face i really meant it i think it detects your face just like you know facial recognition looks for a face if like if you stand up, then your face goes out of focus and it needs to raise to get there or something like that. Uh, yeah, That's what I that. Hey, we'll program this to where, you know, your camera is always at a certain spot on your face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like but I, I'm not totally certain on that. I haven't researched it because I don't, I don't care. I don't sit, sit at home at my desk long enough to want to stand there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I haven't done that either. Some people really like it. I don't know if I could game while doing that. While standing? No. Uh, you know, it would depend on the level of the desk. We went to Anaheim, and I was playing that one game to try and win a sweater over mm-hmm. at the Western Digital Black Booth. Yeah. They yeah. had those so low that my arm was just – I was just at an angle. It was way too difficult. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that, it was like between sitting and standing. That was very uncomfortable. So I kind of have a – that's that's all I can relate to. Yeah. So that was it. I – after saying that no one's here, I heard another like crash, like someone had come downstairs or something like that. So that's that's why I have my headphone over like this. Just it's, now? No, it was uh, during your during your story. I heard something else, and maybe it's just me going crazy. I don't know, but I could have sworn I heard someone come downstairs in my house. Like not down. Is haunted, bro. Hey, you're never alone when you're with Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, you can have a haunted house. Okay. When I was living with my buddy, we're going to call uh, his gamer name is Faced. So we're going to say Faced. Uh, I didn't have to pay rent because his mom was like, You're making my son go to college with you, so you don't have to pay rent. I was like, Yes. Mm. Blew all my money on junk. Um, we had a ghost in the house. Mm-hmm. It was like one time him and I were like, Dude, so we would watch Ghost Adventurers uh, before we go to bed, mm-hmm. like from our beds, but we. We like we leave the remote on the other side of the room, and it was not a smart TV. And we're like, oh, we're gonna turn off the TV. TV would turn off. <gasps> or some, you'd get downstairs, and for some reason, the light switch. My buddy's dad blocked off the light switch from the bottom of the stairs. He had to go clear across the room to turn on the light. No, you get down there, go, Ugh, and light would turn on. All right, I'm out. So the whole, 
<laughs> I'm out. Creepy. Yeah. Not creepy. even. I would not live there. You feel just something at the base of your feet? It was the weirdest thing. And it felt like a cat. And then nope. we got a cat, which didn't help. Nope. I yeah, wouldn't no, live there. It was so creepy. I so they went to Montana one month, what for a week once. Didn't stay there. No, <laughs> no, dude, forget oh, that. I don't think I would even go to that house. I stayed at the house across wow. the street that a, that another buddy of mine lived. As it was all just broken. So mm. there is a chance there's going to be another pause here in this one, and we, we missed the whole you live somewhere haunted story. No, it was such a good story. I don't, I didn't, I, I'd like to look at the camera so it looks like I'm staring at you or at the viewers, but yeah, yeah I didn't recognize that anything had happened until just now. Well, do we okay. Do we, do we want to cut the recording really quick and just, I can start back at that story? You can just start it again. Go real quick. Oh, uh, well, okay. So I, it was a house. It was a house in Lehigh, nice house, it's a five bedroom, mm -hmm. living room downstairs, office area downstairs, beautiful. But we had a ghost. We had, we had two ghosts: ghost cat, ghost dude. Mm. Uh, and he loved. To, he was a helpful ghost, like I was saying earlier before we had our little technical problems. But no, mm -hmm. we'd be in bed. He, we had a bunk bed and we'd be watching TV just to relax and then we'd be like oh that's the remote of it TV would turn off <gasps> come downstairs like I was telling you earlier mm -mm. his dad blocked off the light with just uh, the entertainment center um, so you have to go to the other side light would turn on for you ah! it yeah. was the creepiest thing and the other thing our hall our, our um, closet light would just randomly turn on in the, in the middle of the night ah! I nobody touched it it was mm -hmm. the creepiest thing. My buddy hated having the closet open because that light would turn on. I think that's what it was. Is the light would turn on and wake him up. And he'd be like freaked because he mm -hmm. lived in that room since he was like, I think he was like just in junior high. It would okay. freak you. So yeah, was, I, so, yeah I, hope that didn't get cut out. I hope that part of the story didn't get cut out. I told it better early, earlier, but I it was know. creepy. Uh, but again, to end it, I didn't. So they, they went to Montana for Minnesota for a week. Uh, for like a wedding or something, I, I did not stay in that house. Mm. I spent one night there, light came on, I grabbed my stuff, and I was going through my buddy's bedroom because he lived downstairs. Yeah. That's funny. I went through his bedroom window, and he was just like, what the crap? I was like, dude, haunted house. He goes, oh, light's turning on again? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sleeping here. He goes, okay. So I just passed out on his floor. <laughs> I, was, I was like 19 years old, too. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was freaky. Yeah. Like, okay, like but, it's, it, it wouldn't have even taken me and so they were gone. I would not have stayed there. Like, even no. the first time it happened, I was I'm out and would have left and never gone back. But the thing was, is like, no rent. Exactly. Nope. No rent. Nope. Not worth. <laughs> I didn't even have to pay for food. No, I didn't pay for food or rent. They bought not my worth. food. I was like, I was, ah. and there was like four, there was like seven, nine people living in the house. So mm -hmm. it was, I, I never felt unsafe. Oh, Except, no. like, no. The only time I felt unsafe was when when they built the bathroom downstairs, and my buddy's mom went and bought a shower curtain, and it was a see-through shower curtain, and my buddy didn't have boundaries, so uh, oh. he would just walk in, and there was a wall that I could hide my hide my giant anaconda behind, but he would just walk in. Hey, dude, but dude, faced you, you. I'm showering. What are you doing, dude? Don't worry, man. We're both boys. That's I'm not. Like, no, dude. <laughs> so, he would just pee or poo right there while I'm showering. No. But free rent. That oh, I could handle for free rent, but the the haunting, no. He didn't do it all the time. He didn't do it all the time. It was like it was probably like once a month. He just come up, dude. I have to poo. I'm like, hey, go upstairs. No, mm -hmm. man. No, everybody's upstairs. And I'm in here. I don't want to smell your poop while I'm showering. It's the flowery yeah, poop smell. No good. No good. Old spice. <laughs> no, it was bad. But the house was haunted. But it was like like I said, friendly ghost friendly cat and then we got a real cat and that just freaked me out even more mm -hmm. so glad i'm out of that house but i drive past that house once in a while when i'm going to liquid's house and it's just like dude i can't no i can't i i can't step foot in the house again mm -hmm. it's creepy creepy but moving on let's move on to what the f let's 
Let's do it. Unless anybody's got any haunted stories they want to share. No. After that one? It was nope. creepy. Anybody's got a haunted story they want to share, I would love to hear it. Again, you can find us on Twitter. Go to our Slink link. And hit us up on social media. Okay, moving on. Today's episode is brought to you by Virtual Performance. Via the internet, they provide personal fitness training, meal planning, and coaching. Which is important for staying healthy. Virtual Performance will not only help develop your physical strength, and endurance, but also your mental fortitude. This will improve your life and your gaming skills. Even the professional gamers have training regiments. That means the rest of us need one too if we're going to get as good as they are. So find virtual performance online at trainingvp.com, on social media at the training VP on both Twitter and Instagram, or send them an email info at trainingvp.com. Last week, we had, again, three nominations. So those nominations were Buy Some Headphones, Tormented, and Entitled Child. Who do you think won? Buy Some Headphones. Yeah. It was definitely Buy Some Headphones. Yeah. That is definitely who I would have voted for. So congratulations, Juhadre. You have earned the right to choose if you want to go first or not. I can't remember a story from this week. <laughs> That's that, means it. You're, that means you're voted again. Yeah. I heard a okay. lot of crazy things on the radio and, like, on YouTube videos and stuff, but nothing really happened to me. Uh, nothing happened to you, huh? Okay. No. All right, well, go ahead, Actually, Blaine. Actually, 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 hold on. Okay. Okay. I think this happened within our, our time frame. Yeah, yeah, it must have. Okay. So let me double-check a calendar real quick. No, I can't remember if it did or not. And especially, it did. okay, it did. So I was at my parents' house for a family get together. And my brother was saying that be, he was in the drive through at a Taco Bell with some coworkers. And while they were in the drive through, someone came out of the restaurant and told them they had to wait, leave. Wait, 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 wait. Not somebody, it was a worker. Yeah, a worker, like someone from the Taco Bell, an employee came out and said, you guys all have to leave. It's too much. We can't handle it. And my brother was like, wait, you mean you can't do your job? <laughs> you know, just like that, because he and I are very similar. We, we say and think things the same way. You can't do your job. It and he's like, feel stupid. Yeah, yeah because mm -hmm. that's literally their job. And so the, the person was like, no, it's too much. It's too much food. We can't keep up and we can't handle it. So you need, everyone needs to leave. And he's like, wait, hold on. You can't just tell everyone to leave. Like, this is what, why we come here. He's like, you don't understand. The guy in front of you ordered six quesadillas. <gasps> and, it's, it's just a quesadilla. It's just a quesadilla. <laughs> six. Okay, you put the tortilla, the cheese, whatever meat, slap it, and grill it, and you're done. It takes like 40 seconds. So, yeah, they... People what the F? lunch rush. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. That's just what he told me, and I... It, like, it didn't happen to me, but what the F, man? Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. that's unacceptable. Yeah, I, I, I can understand them going out there and being like, hey, we're really busy right now. The wait time's going to be large. If you want to wait... Wait, but so it's take I'm just warning you now. Thirty seconds to make a quesadilla. Yeah, it was, dude. And, and uh, let, let's clarify. I, I know we're adding to your story. Mm -hmm. It's only drive-through. It's only one order at a time. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You're not taking drive-through and dine-in at the same time. Like, are you kidding me? Okay. So what do you want to call this one? I want to call it. We can't handle it, because those those were the words that he said were used. That's just crazy. Yeah, now the one by our work is closed, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Blaine. Okay. So I was... Uh, this happened on the road, but it's not a traffic thing, so okay. I'm going to go with it. Okay. So I was driving home, and off to the side of the road, um, I see multiple vehicles pulled off to the side of the road like there was an accident or something, but I can't figure out what was going on. Were you in your car and or your motorcycle? I was in my car. Okay. And then I eventually get far enough 
And you guys know those really big bales of hay? Not yeah. the ones you can pick up by hand. The ones yeah, the, you need the, the giant forklift. Yeah. 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 It was like 500 so, pounds. Yeah. There was one of those on the side of the road. Hmm. It's like, where did that come from? Is that what caused... Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Did you say... Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's the last straw, <laughs> Albatross. <laughs> ha, you said straw. Yes. Hey, the time of straw. <laughs> so there's this big bale of hay, and there's this pickup truck in front of it. And what the pickup's doing uh, is they back up to it, and they've got the strap around it, and they're cinching the strap down. So they're trying to pull it up onto the truck from a, from, from a ratchet strap? No. Like, I don't see that happening. Mm -hmm. If that's what they were doing, good luck. <laughs> no. I, I couldn't figure out why you would just cinch it down. To It wasn't on a anything. It was just on, on the asphalt. So there's no way you're going to pull it safely. Mm -mm. Was it exploded all over the asphalt? No, it, it was mostly together. There was The very end was a little bit falling out, but... Okay. Not bad enough. I was just like, where did that come from? What are they doing? And how do they expect to, to get it home? Good questions for I, sure. I just had no idea. That's actually really funny. Call a tow truck. <laughs> for a bale of hay? Call it. <laughs> I don't get it. Hey, I could do it with my tow truck that I used to drive. Yes. Yes. I believe it. I believe you. What do you want to call that? Uh, How about the last straw or what, hay? What, what the hay? Yeah, what, what the, the hay, hay sounds good. What the hay? Okay. Okay. So my story is about a coworker. Hmm. And it's been going on for weeks, but it's continued. So I feel like I can use the story. I'm not going to say any names because I like this person, but I am going to tell the story. It is not Juhadre. <laughs> I was worried. It is not. You're actually going to know exactly who it is the moment I tell the story. I believe that. Okay. Again, I like this person. Okay. So this person has complained about uh, when COVID started. They have expressed, hey, can we get more cleaning supplies? So our work provided cleaning supplies. There's now spray bottles. There's now napkins to use the spray bottles. There's hand sanitizer at everybody's desks, every single door, every single bio reader, everything. There's masks. There's gloves. There's sanitizing wipes. They upped the cleaning crew. They've done all of this. Mm -hmm. They also gave us um, some hazard pay. It went away, but we had it for two or three months. No big deal. I've been in quarantine twice now, and my company has paid me both times for the full time. They didn't have to do that. They paid me full hours. And I, I've been paid. This coworker is still complaining that her company isn't doing anything. Nothing <laughs> satisfying this cut this discovery. You laugh because you know it's true. I'm I like, know exactly I'm like, who you're talking about. What are you talking about? They paid me twice during COVID, during quarantine. That was three weeks of pay. I didn't use any PTO. You're the one that bitched about, well, we don't have any cleaning supplies. Everybody touches the buy readers. Everybody touches the doors and the handles and stuff and the tools. So they provided cleaning supplies at every single door, every single bio reader, every single toolbox, every single desk, period, like, like down the hallways, everywhere. It's everywhere. You can't go down a hallway or a room without seeing at least four to ten bottles of hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. including the fact that you have a personal one on your desk. The current one smells like really bad alcohol. It yes. brings me back to my high school. I mean, not high school days, <laughs> college days. <laughs> I did not drink in high school. <laughs> Again, I really like this coworker because he's funny. He's, he gets along when he's not in this mindset. But I'm just like, what do you want them to do? What What do you want? What else do you want them to do? The only thing else that they could do is hold your hand and tuck you in at night. But they can't hold your hand because that would be transferring. No. And it's 2020. <laughs> they need your consent. <laughs> All right. But, but it just bugs me that my company is literally doing everything he is asking them to do. He asks. They literally are doing exactly what he asks. But he's saying they're not doing anything. 
they're even buying us lunch tomorrow, and he's still not satisfied. He's like, they're just doing it to, 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 to just – no, they're not doing it for any kind of positive merit. I'm like, what are you talking about? You are so ungrateful. You've literally asked for all this stuff, and they're like, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. What else more do you want? Mm-hmm. They cannot do anything else. They're paying you. They promise you you have a job. They gave you cleaning supplies, gloves, masks. You're not paying for any of it. They're even paying you if you go into quarantine. They're like, we're still going to give you a paycheck. What else do you want is my biggest question. But I'm just ignoring this coworker because I'm like, but it really gets me because he's bringing the mood down, mm-hmm. bringing my supervisor's mood down. Because I'm like, what else do you want? Mm-hmm. Well, free food would help, but apparently that's not enough either. No, because this coworker made a complaint about that today, was n- not positive about it. And I'm like, dude, what else do you want? So my thing is, is what else do you want? Mm-hmm. That, that's literally what I'm going to call it. Again, love this coworker, does a good job funny good to get along with when you're not in this mindset but i'm just what else do you want because from where i'm standing they're doing everything they can and everything you have asked them to do except say you don't need to come to work right now Mm -hmm. but i mean how are you going to pay your bills you don't want to come to work don't come to work that's your choice we're in utah right to work state Mm -hmm. rant over we're going to call that one what else do you want all righty that intense Intense yeah. stories this and week for sure. I've been, I've been keeping that one in for about three months, and I, I just, I, I'm glad that you're smiling and laughing because I feel like you agree with me. I, I think there are too many people, who invested, in, in what's going on with COVID nineteen on both sides of the. It's real and that it's not real. I think there are people on both sides that are just too into it. Some are taking it too seriously and there are others who aren't taking it serious enough. And hearing those extreme stories just makes me laugh because doing what I think is the best I can do is all I can expect anyone else. And it's it's as I said earlier uh, in previous episodes, the best that I'm doing is just an, I am holding my tongue and just going with the flow. Mm-hmm. You want me to wear a mask? I'll wear a mask. I. So you can't see my face. Who cares? Mm-hmm. It's not killing me. But I do get annoyed with the one way aisle thing. Mm-hmm. And because it annoys me, I still love pissing Karen off. <laughs> Before we digress too far, why don't we give a quick yeah. rundown of our three nominations for this week? Yes, it's We Can't Handle It. What the hey and what else do you want? Those are the three nominations. So when this is posted, I will post the votes, which you will see the votes when the, well, yeah. (laughs) It's kind of redundant to say since it's like, well, when this comes out, the vote will come up. But anyway, go ahead and vote on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you can comment. Send us us a a DM on any of our social medias. You can find that um, after this. Look us up, slink, link. What the F, people. Today's What the F moment was brought to you by Soza Clothing. Soza Clothing provides shirts, hoodies, hats, accessories, and even game coats. Cheaper than you can find them elsewhere at times. You can even customize the clothing with your gamer tag if you so desire. And the best part is you can use code JUPADRE to get 15% off. That's right. 15% 15% off. Use code JUPADRE, J-U-P-O-D-R-E, at sozicclothing.co. And now, back to you, Jahadre. I It's announcements time. Yep. Do you have any announcements, guys? I am looking. The only announcement that I had... Uh, you know, I don't have any. I don't have any written down. I went and looked. Okay. I don't have I, any either. My phone, I still don't have any. So I, I need to correct some Diablo Greater Rift math from last week. A, you remember Bleen's tormented what the F submission was about achieving Greater Rift 100 and not getting a, um, yeah, there an was no like achievement for it. Yes. Right. So 
in that episode, I said that a 70, a greater if 70, was equal to Torment 17-ish. That is incorrect. It's actually Torment 15 is equal to a 70. So I was wrong about that. I found that out a couple days after saying it when I did my own level 70. And I wanted to correct that so that, you know, the lack of comments calling me out on it still don't come. <laughs> so... <laughs> That one, and then the, the League of Legends team is continuing in the Phoenix Rising League. We went 2-0 last week, Woo putting us at a total of 3-1, second place in our division. We will be playing tomorrow in the Phoenix Rising League, uh, July 25th, and watch my Twitter for the times and when that's going to happen. It will be between 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 10 p.m. Eastern Time, so make sure and look for that, and... Click on the Twitch link to watch that live while I shoutcast it. Oh, awesome. I well, think... thank you, Juhadre. Yeah. Um, I did think of one announcement that I have. What's uh, that? For those who are gamers and let you listening to this, Hero Horizon Zero Dawn has actually been announced and is for pre-release on Steam. Hmm. It was supposed to be a PS4 exclusive. It has been long enough that they are now uh, broadening, bro branching out. Mm-hmm. And it is now on Steam. You can pre-order it, and you can download it August 7th. I have pre-ordered it. Uh, it's one single-player game. And also, they just announced that in Risk of Rain 2, the full version is getting ready to come out. So if you would like to buy it before it gets to raise in price, it should be $30 still. Don't quote me on that. But buy it now, and you won't have to pay full price. I really recommend these two games. Yeah, that's the only announcement I have. Cool. Cool. Then with that, I think we call it good and say good night. Thanks to everybody who joined us today on Chupadre. We hope you had a great time and we hope you join us next week. Don't forget to follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Jupadre, at Juhadre, at Albatross17, at Feline with three ins, and at Rated R LLC. We also have Instagram. Just look up any of our ats or at Jupadre. Or hit us up on our Slink link. It's myslink.app forward slash Jupadre. Don't forget to vote for what the F. We hope to see you next week, my bodies.